That was then, and this is now. But when will then be now? Soon. Everybody, my name is Barry Horvath, and this is Moving Forward TV, your local market update. And I am Dylan Gaston. Thank you for joining us on today's show. And yay, we have a guest. You know what that means? What does that mean? We don't have to do all the talking. Oh, cool. <laughs> yay. <laughs> yay. Yes, we do have a special guest today, and he's from That Was Then, This Is Now, right? Isn't that your show? No. Soon? Soon. <laughs> soon. He knows his part. It's good. Actually, he's have his own show pretty soon. Yeah, he doesn't need us. He's gonna. We're gonna get cut. You know, our know. are gonna go down. They're like, who's this guy? Actually, we have Patrick Storch. He's from the mortgage firm over in Tampa, Florida, and he's been in the mortgage business for a couple of weeks now. A couple of weeks. And we yeah. wanted to bring another expert into the fold this week, so we could talk about then and now and how things have changed in the mortgage industry. But after looking at what you brought today, Patrick, doesn't look like much has changed at all for <laughs> yeah. years. So tell us about yourself. Welcome. And Thank you. Welcome. Thank, Thank you for, Thanks for, for coming. coming on. <laughs> so it. tell us about you and, yeah. and what you do and what are mortgages anyway? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure it out after 24 years. So um, yeah, uh, 24 years in the mortgage business. Um, and uh, there's, there's been, been a, a lot change of, or two? There's been a few changes. <laughs> you have 24 years in the mortgage business? Been I know. What's wrong with me? What, is, what were like you thinking? Like you started when you were 12, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say to Delyn. She says, 30 years in the business. I'm like, shh. <laughs> Do you notice, too, for the last five years, I've stopped at 30? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're starting to count backwards <laughs> now, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, after so Actually, many a lot years. of our guidelines are going backwards nowadays, too. So, uh, Which it is not crazy. always bad. Not bad. Some of that not is bad. a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> it is good. There's a, uh, a lot of changes. I mean, this you know, climbing this mountain and going back down, the peaks and valleys have just been incredible in this business. But um, actually, for the whole ride, it's been a good ride. Right. It you has know, been a good ride. It really has been. And that's why we wanted to have Patrick on. We wanted to talk about, we all know that, y'all know that tons, y'all. I'm from New England, can you tell? No, no. Ever since so we moved the studio changed. to South Georgia here, you got the yowls in you. We are kind of close to Georgia, yeah, there, right? <laughs> yes. The drive was... You need snow tires if you're coming here. But so much has changed. Everybody knows so much has changed in the mortgage industry. And Patrick, being a veteran in, in the business as well, like us, we, we got to talking about some of the changes that have happened, some of the things that... And it's really kind of fun to look back. So... Let's look back at some other things that have changes. This, this is one of the things that I like. So in 1977, we're going back to 1977. Not that anybody started was, in the business at I was, that time. I wasn't even born yeah. yet, so I don't even know what any of these things are. Yeah. So. so in 1977, this was a phone booth. Let me see that. Pretty interesting, huh? This was a phone booth. They're going to put it up on the screens for That's us. That's right, but I want to show them what <laughs> we have. Too. Okay, Actually, ahead, you phone wanna, booths were a mobile like office, to too. Let they me... had a long cord, <laughs> and for salespeople, you would pull up to the phone booth. You, were... you did not have to get out of your well, car. Well, let me tell you, I was excited when, that, when they yeah. lowered the Loved phone it. booths. We used to have to get out of our car, <laughs> and I was from up north in the snow, and go and make a phone call. But when they came up with the, they lowered them, and the ones you can just pull what? up to, Boom. my Loved office it. was the gas station. Ask, <laughs> wait, let me ask you. When is the last time you saw a phone booth? I know. I wouldn't even know how much they are anymore, and and or where there is a public phone. Who carries change in their pocket anymore no, if you even had to make a call? I know. I think they actually take. They have change. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Uh, you know, I'm, you guys These are too are old for me. These are some of the things me. that our kids, will, our kids will never know. No. You know. So, all right. So this this was. A search, a search engine. engine. How Come funny on. is that? Yeah. Card catalog. That was from, back in 1977. Yes, I like this one. This one was social media. The water cooler. Right? Everybody stood around talking so, about you know, what, and now, they probably still do. Where do you get your mortgage? Where do you get yeah. your mortgage? We've just taken it taken it to another level now, right? Yeah, now our uh, water cooler doesn't even have a jug on the top anymore. <laughs> in fact, somebody in the office is like, when are you going to order more water? We've now for months. <laughs> True story. But that's another show in itself. 
<laughs> that was pretty funny. All right, so does everybody remember this one? This was a database. Yeah. In 1977. Yeah. We all I had our Rolodex. You still have one. And then I do, because I have to have some place to put my passwords. Shh, don't oh, let, don't, that's don't let our IT people hear that, right? I had actually two, one for the phone numbers and one for my passwords when, when things started coming out. How about this one? We heard that's your favorite. Remember the trip, the old triptych from right, AAA. From AAA. Yeah. Does so anybody even? You know what? You were supposed to bring a roadmap out. Yeah, I know. You couldn't I even find it, could it. you? <laughs> I did bring my Rolodex. It's somewhere. <laughs> but text messaging. You got to get a message to someone quick. The telegram. telegram. That was it. I don't, I, this one is kind of like. What about this one? Wait a minute. This used to be a laptop. <laughs> Just a minute. She doesn't want you to see this because. This was the mortgage calculator in 1977. <laughs> she still has this calculator. It's from 1980. Thank you very much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but this was a laptop, right? That's right? a laptop. You could move it anywhere. All right. It looks like a This typewriter. was a good one. This was a real estate listing. Right, yeah. the newspaper. I remember and, you couldn't wait for the paper to come out to come look right. at what, Sunday paper. Sunday paper, yeah. Sunday paper so you can see what was going on. And, and Do they then still they list them in the paper now? Books. I think they the still list them. I haven't looked at a paper. Section. I'm looking online, so I don't Are know. You? And then they had those big books. Remember, they had those big books, and you had to go to the real estate yeah. office and you had to flip through and see if you can find it. Uh, this, this one, this was this was ride sharing. <laughs> this is pretty funny. That's how I got here. So don't make fun of it. This was your inbox. Yeah. Remember that? that That's that what it still looks like. I know. I, I actually still have, still one have of those. <laughs> But this is, this is your favorite, right? This was virtual reality. Yeah. <laughs> These were so much fun. All right, so that was that was my little walk down memory lane there from 1977 until today. So what has changed? Nothing. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Our millennials can tell us what has changed, yeah. but we're, but so much has changed in the mortgage industry. Patrick has some really yeah, awesome I actually documents brought some, here. Uh, these are, uh, this is an what? actual... Listen. We're going to do that in the next segment. We're going to do that in the next segment because... I'm afraid. I'm afraid those are going to crumble if you and, show and we got to be careful with them. Yeah, yeah you do. We have to have. Actually, we need to call in a special team to handle these documents. <laughs> we got to bring in the forensic section just to handle them with kick gloves because we don't want to destroy the evidence. So. <laughs> Sounds good. So let's see what Casey's cooking. We'll be back right after this. Casey Quidditti, this is Chat and Dish, and today I'm going to show you how to take this ordinary little potato, add a bit of butter and rosemary, and turn it into a potato extraordinaire. Take your Idaho or baking potato, a really good sharp knife, and whittle your potato down until you have a nice rectangle. Now, don't worry, we are not going to waste all the extra pieces. We're going to throw those into a bowl of cold water and pop them into the refrigerator. We'll use it for fried potatoes tomorrow. Now take this lovely little rectangle and you're going to make very thin slices. As thin as possible. Less than an eighth of an inch. Very thin. See how thin that is? I've got all my potato slices. I'm just going to fan them out a little bit so that we have a nice little layer. Each one is overlapping the next one. Just in a nice little line. Set them on a cookie sheet that has been lined with aluminum foil. Again, we have all of the little potato pieces. Just fan them out and lay them down on your aluminum foil. Now that we have our potatoes on our baking pan, we're just going to give them a coating of melted butter, a sprinkling of fresh rosemary. I have this very finely chopped. If you only have dried rosemary, go ahead and use that. A dusting of salt onto each one, because potatoes do need a little bit of salt. And then just a smidge of black pepper. They are now ready for a 400 degree oven for approximately 30 minutes. You're gonna watch them when they come out nice and brown around the edges, but still soft in the middle. That's exactly when they're done. Here they are, out of the oven, a dollop of sour cream and an extra smidge of rosemary. You're ready for the table. Thanks for visiting. Ciao. Wow, did you see those potatoes extraordinaire? <laughs> yes, I oh. did. Oh, we're back. <laughs> oh. Were you like zooming in on I it? was. What I a was cool just... camera. What you got Actually, there? this is a Spartus full view camera built in 1951. But I wanted to point out something to you that we have changed in this country. I want you to read that on the bottom. Can you see that? Oh, you have like your glasses? Yeah. Okay, let me get my glasses I'll read it on. for you. Okay. Yeah, okay, you do that. 
It says Chicago, <laughs> Illinois, made in the USA. All Yay. right, wow. This is, so it's rock solid, 1951, okay? It's three times Probably all so of our age combined, and it's outlasting us because it was built in the USA. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say about that baby right there. <laughs> Shop USA. But anyway. And these are cool, too. Look at these two microphones. 1942 is one of them, and 1955, I think yep. you said. Yeah. Something and, like that, or 53. And, and then, you know, Casey's cooking those potatoes. I know. Those, those look were, good. Those I'm, were, I'm on board with anything potato. Those are 2017 potatoes because we I had know. them verified. <laughs> <laughs> and that was important. Let's hope. Yeah, because. Grown in the USA, too. Because <laughs> Casey does. Grown in the that's USA. Right, that's right, right here. They're, Yay. they're from Idaho. You go, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's all good. So let's go back to. To that our was documents then, and, this and is stuff. Now. So, yes. what, so we're talking about what's changed in the mortgage industry. And, with, and real estate world. And we have 300 years of combined experience right here <laughs> on these. In this Boy, lawyer, we feel in every bit of those 300 years, <laughs> too, don't we? It's <laughs> freaking. I've only been doing it for two weeks. It's <laughs> those two, okay? I just want to be clear. So we got some documents so here. So Patrick bought some really yes. cool documents What do you with got us? there, Patrick? You so want to share? So what I dug up is this is a... Uh, this was the first mortgage deal he ever did. I, wanted, her, I just want to be clear. This is the first mortgage deal that was ever done. <laughs> <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Look closing statement from 1955, and we're still trying to figure out what kind of paper this is. Look, notice it's one page, not a five-page CD. <laughs> and I just noticed page. the monthly payment coupon is on the back. This house it's was on. nine. The monthly payment coupon is on, <laughs> on the back. back. How about that? <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> That's, so a ten... That's efficient. <laughs> very, very. And didn't have to cut down too many trees back then. Right. So <laughs> this is a $9,900 purchase price on a house in 1955. Stated income? Stated income, <laughs> stated asset, yeah. That, that's probably, oh, look, here, Bob's you know son. You know Bob. Yeah, the gas station at you're the corner. approved. There you go. You know what's funny? There, were, were, there weren't even credit scores back then. No. I, d I don't believe there was credit scores. That came out in 1996, no. in no. case you were wondering. Yeah, I know. She's the buff on that. How about a payment on this? You guys ready? Yes. No. How much was their monthly payment? Interest, not principal and interest, interest and principal, oh. $50.19. Wow. Annual real estate taxes. <laughs> That's my weekly Starbucks budget. One dollar. <laughs> Annual real estate taxes. <laughs> Hazard insurance, $2.57. <laughs> oh, my God. So a whopping monthly mortgage payment of $53.76. How nice. Wow. And how long? to dream. I love that. I do too. I think it's Can we bring cool. this back? Yes, I that know. Payment? Let's bring that back. Yeah, that <laughs> hey, payment. Hey, that was the then. One page. And this and is now. Yeah. Yeah. And this is and not this coming. Is, this is not now. <laughs> no, this is not coming soon. What else do we have here? So we actually have a purchase uh, contract. I love this oh, one Looks like too. a one-page contract. Pretty much As the same. As opposed to 12-page contract. Is that how yeah. long they are now? 12 pages? Yes, they're 12 pages. Is I think. 12? The far bar, isn't yeah, it? Far what bar. about when you add the addendum? You guys would know. Yeah, it's uh, going to add up even more. Plus all right. Okay. All right. So this one here, it's just a one-page purchase statement. And uh, right. you know what? I don't see any real estate commissions here, unfortunately, unless Sorry, it's guys. the $50 that's, that's on here. So <laughs> Chances are the banker probably helped them prepare Probably so. You know? Yeah, so we got a purchase contract here. One page. And this one's really cool. Well, we have a mortgage here, which is really cool. And uh, a mortgage and a note. And the interest rate back there was... Um, Four and a half percent back in 1955. That stayed the same. Which is then and now. It's now, right? About the same. So it's not bad. I think guys. you should lock that in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you think that's paid off by now? That might be paid off by now. <laughs> I like this one here. It is. I don't know what it is. It's a warranty deed, but uh, you have still to pay. Still one page. Okay. Yeah. Still one page. page. And and you have to pay doc stamps on the deed. Well, it's a Florida thing. Thing. if you could see these, these are actually dock stamps. They're really stamps. There really are stamps that's on hilarious. the deed. How about that? So, How cool is so that? Maybe that's where it came from, who dock stamps dock on stamps the deed. On so the who deed. is dock? Because it's on the deed. Who is I, I don't know who that guy is, but I <laughs> think he did very well. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much they were back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah not much at all, but this uh, pretty neat few, to see the actual stamps. That is yeah. cool. That is very cool. Awesome. I love that stuff. You, you got anything else over there in your bag of tricks? Uh, <laughs> nothing else. I thought else my camera was cool until okay. you. you well, know, I did yeah. notice. I did notice that the appraisal fee back then was twenty-five dollars for an appraisal fee, oh my. and I think that's the camera. 
that they used <laughs> for the, the appraisal of $25. I'll because buy that. chances are <laughs> it was like, you know, a drive by <laughs> and took a picture of the house, okay. right? You know what's really sad though? What? For the appraisers, they really haven't changed that much. No. Yeah. The price. No. no. You know, the price. I feel bad. Appraisers, you know, they got the raw end of the stick, man. They yeah. do a ton of work. A ton of a work ton for how much money they make. For what and they we make. beat them up I know, constantly. And, and people will say, oh my God, you know, $425 for an appraisal? You have no idea the work that goes <laughs> well, into that's those because, things. You know what, because They're so underpaid. All because all people see is the 10 or 15 minutes when they walk in their right. house and walk yeah. out. I have no idea what goes into goes the background. Goes behind the scenes. Yeah. That's for you, our appraiser friends yeah, there out there. We love send you. Us some, send us some we more do. business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about now. So what happened is, so in those days, yes, things were probably a little bit, you know, here's Bob's son, Carl, is buying yeah. a house, you know, and shake a hand and, you know, that kind of thing, and they got a mortgage. And then they went through... You know, where we had to verify and we had to, I remember when I started, the, the application was front and back and that yeah. was it. But, but ultimately, it was probably about maybe eight to ten pages. And then what happened yeah. is it went down to nothing. The pendulum swung. And all you had Big to time. do was what, guys? What yeah. did you need? <sighs> <sighs> Just make sure you're breathing and we yeah. would give Got you a mortgage. Pulse, yeah, right. we were really good about that. <laughs> <laughs> we would. I mean, we, we were talking about during the break, you know, you could literally... Take an application in the morning yeah. and close it in the afternoon. Absolutely, which was ridiculous. Which right. was you know, not time to do anything. Not time to verify anything. Five eighty. That was bad. Five eighty credit score. One hundred percent financing. Yeah. Stated income. Investment property. Right. And Seems the seller like pays stuff. all the closing costs. Seller pays costs. all the closing costs. You get money back at closing. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> so you made money. By, you no make wonder money. things happen. And, it, you know, was, it was terrible. And, it, I know a lot of people say, oh, it's so hard to get a mortgage these days. Well, no, because that was ridiculous. That me, never should have happened. Let me ask, because both of you have a lot of experience. In your professional opinion, the guidelines, the restrictions now, there's so many barriers in place. And people are afraid that this market is going to implode again. But I, I don't see that happening. I don't see how it could with all the safeguards that have been yeah, put in place. Yeah, because we are now checking your income and doing the appraisals and doing the background check, really verifying that you have a job and, yes, breathing. You can um, make the payment. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's called qualified mortgages right. nowadays. Yeah. I mean, you a literally have to qualify right. for and the And then mortgage. the appraisal, ATR, that whole situation. to repay. You have to show it. That's we don't right. get to even talk to the appraisers anymore. We order it through... An AMC right. now, so you don't get to call up your appraiser and go, "Hey, this is going to sell for two hundred. Can you bring it in at two hundred? And, and then, sadly, those things were going on. It yeah. was going on. And then if that appraiser said no, what did you do? You called the next appraiser. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll get it in because they wanted the work. Yeah. And that's just the so way that it was. that's a thing of the past. Can't do that anymore. No. And that's going to help out the business. Yeah, but there so are well. some good things that are coming up, and we're going to talk about those things. No. Right after the break. Wow, you said wait out. <laughs> we'll right Whose show is this anyway? <laughs>
All right, we're back, everybody. We're, back. we're here with our guest, Patrick Storch, from the mortgage firm and I know in we were, Tampa. We were on a roll there with all of the changes and everything that happened in the mortgage industry. And, and how it went too far in one direction where you didn't need anything, and then it swung, and this is where everybody was, oh, my God, it's so hard to get a mortgage. Too far the other way where you needed, like, everything, including your dog's no. blood type. You know what? <laughs> yep. I, right? I got to tell you. Deals are closing. People get all stressed are, out. I Everybody's know. like, oh, I can't get a mortgage. Yes, yes you, you can, because there's definitely options. Yes. You're just going to have to be prepared to dot your I's and cross your T's. And, and, it, and we all agree. And prove you make money and have a job. <laughs> Is that so hard? I know. <laughs> we just want to make sure you don't lose your house in the future. We want to make sure you can afford yes. to make your payments. But they are starting. So we agree, right? It Absolutely. went too far. They were asking yeah. for too much stuff. It was definitely cumbersome to people it still is a lot of stuff mm -hmm. but they're making some strides yeah we when when things started to come back around there was just i mean you almost had to have 20 percent down right to, remember it, you it, did it stopped it for a while so i uh, really wanted to make sure that that didn't happen again um but as time has gone you know gone by the Pendulum is changing a little bit more. Mm -hmm. The values are, are going loose. up. Yeah, things you know, right. it's not at the bottom, so there's <clears throat> equity in the houses. Your your MI claims are actually at an all-time all low, low right now. So, yeah. oh, that's great. So your MI rates actually are becoming more MI are dropping. The, right, the right. rates are dropping. So uh, And that's mortgage insurance. For those of you who don't know, the acronyms that the weird mortgage people talk about. <laughs> you guys call PMI. You've heard of PMI. That's what the mortgage Private insurance Private mortgage is. insurance yes. or mortgage insurance. So. It's actually coming, yeah, the, coming down a little bit. So there yeah, are definitely is. some positive. And as far as the documentation goes, I'm actually very excited to see some of the strides that they're making as far as that goes. They have some really cool things out. Not everybody fits into no. it, but they have some really cool things out right now with, for example, bank statements. Everybody's yeah. used to giving a thousand pages of bank statements. It seems every time they turn around, we need a new bank mm -hmm. statement. We need a new bank statement. Things are changing a little bit as far as that goes. There's a, a new technology that they're trying out there right now, kind of in test stages, but Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are accepting it. Yes, they are. Um, AccuCheck or something uh, like that. I think it's AccuCheck yeah. or Accelerated. I know. Excel mortgage, yeah, whatever. Accelerated Mortgage. We but have a couple different But basically what names. it is is... is um, it's a login. You log into the system, and it and it gives you the banking information over the sixty day period, yeah. and that's it. We do it one time, and we don't have to. We don't have to update. And if we, we and if we need pages. to update it, we can just update it ourselves, and we don't have to go back to our borrowers time and time that's again. Pretty cool. And say, send me a things. statement. Send that's me a statement. Cool. Because you know we always get the statements sent over, and you know if they fax them or some of them are crooked, or even if they scan them, they're crooked, or it cuts off the <laughs> missing page <laughs> the two. Left side. This is why we need more women in our life. <laughs> Because <laughs> they keep it straight. I wasn't going to say <laughs> Well, anything. you might as well just say it. We got Patrick here. And the other, <laughs> he knows. And the, other one, the, the other one that's really exciting is um, this is just the Fannie Mae yeah. at this point with the income verifications. Yeah, so we have a great program now where if you fit the mold, it's not for everybody, but yet we can just uh, plug in some information and we get a reference number of what your income is through a third party, and that's what we use. That's no it. pay stubs. No pay stubs. <laughs> wow. No W-2s. Yes. Wow. Right. How no cool is that? No pay stubs. So. No. And that's it. And Fannie Mae is accepting it. Not Freddie they Mac are. at this point, but Fannie Mae is accepting How it. How cool is that? That's awesome. That's incredible. I like it. Again, yeah, we something have something kind of new, not for everybody. No, no. And even with the values of houses going up nowadays, um, and with you know. Big brother looking out um, and being able to tell how much houses are worth in certain neighborhoods. We're actually getting back the old days appraisal waivers. I just want to be clear. My big brother works for Bright House. He knows <laughs> nothing about the real estate market. So if you're watching Big Brother, we weren't talking about you. I promise you, because I'm going to get a phone call about yeah. that. You know that. So yeah, that's something else right. new that's coming up. So um, you know, the market has the gone. AMCs are still around. The AMCs are still AMCs. Absolutely. For those of you who don't know, appraisal management company. 
which is no lender is allowed to call up the appraiser, like Barry was saying, and say, hey, this I is what I need. I need 250. Yeah. Okay, get me 300. It truly mm -hmm. is an Oh, we only did this one last week. Oh, can you do it again for 50,000 more? Right. You know, that's crazy. But, and, and that's a good thing because Absolutely. sadly there were too many people paying off appraisers and things that were, and that's how things got out of control and out of hand. So the appreciation that we have been seeing, especially in our market here in Florida, the appreciation that we have been seeing is true. It, it is a true it's appreciation and, you know, as it was supposed to go cash buyers, slowly over time. The cash buyers are driving up the market. Yeah, yeah those are the only ones now that are driving up the it's market. Because really it is a seller's market right And there's now. a lot of cash buyers out there Oh, nowadays. there's definitely a lot of yeah, them. There's a ton mm -hmm. of them. I think, what is it, over 60% of cash buyers right now they're saying. It's so. a lot. Yeah, we don't so. like cash buyers. No. no. I mean, we lost no, <laughs> that 60% of the market. We need to unfriend on Facebook. That's right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They but all these regulations are going to make it more stable for us and for our future. I think yeah. so. Of the mortgage yeah, business, I, the real estate business. People, people are sitting on the sideline, I think, is a big mistake right yeah, now. Yeah, absolutely. Because the market is stable. You yes. know, with all these safeguards and in place, I don't see how... I mean, and just, with prices going up. Yeah, and rates are Buy going now. up. <laughs> yeah, rates are definitely going up. So, Patrick, you're a wealth of information. I know. <laughs> this has been and, fun. You know, I know, I know you had to put on your snow tires to get out here and stuff. And, <laughs> but, you know, some things are worth the trip, right? Absolutely. But, but yeah. Great uh, company we, with you guys. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. No, thanks. thanks. And uh, we have some upcoming events here in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, the big thing we want to talk to you about is on February 17th at 2157 Springs Boulevard. We're Our having... Office. A party, mortgage. go yeah. figure, us yeah. having a party. It's Friday, it's a happy hour, and it's the mortgage firm Trinity's grand opening. Grand opening, So That's come right. on by, stop by, just, Open you know, all, come, come on, on by. have a drink, and we would love uh, to have you. maybe Patrick will show up, who knows, you know, you might, <laughs> he's quite the celebrity, you know, <laughs> you might want to meet him in person, he's pretty cool, so that, that'd be a lot of fun, so stop on by. And uh, do we have anything else going on? Oh, we have a lot, but I don't uh, have Hopefully my phone your with favorite me. Super Bowl team won. <laughs> I just want to mention that because I'm not going to tell you who mine was because then half of you will hate me and I'm friend <laughs> me on Facebook. It's all about Facebook. And for it? all of you who are in the Newport Ritchie area, Barry is running for honorary governor. So as all of you probably already know, honorary governor, it is a fun thing. It's a fundraiser for the West Pasco. I was going to say West Pasco Business Association. Oh, well, that's the <laughs> for, It's for the choice. chamber. It's the ch it's a chamber event, and uh, certain people are allowed to pick their cha mm. uh, their charities of choice. Barry is running. Every vote is a dollar. It's only a dollar, so please give me a buck. Go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> is it on WPBA.biz? You can go on WPBA.biz and give, give a donation. A give, give me a, a buck. couple of bucks. Give me a buck. I need the votes. Yeah, I need your support, and it, it's all for a great cause. So, but Other thanks for that, having us. And, you know, get us out there on LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Uh, what else are we Like on? us. Yeah, like, like us. us. Like Share us. Share us. us. <laughs> That's right. Share us. All that fun stuff. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching. We are today and every day. Moving forward. Yay. We'll see everybody next week. He's hired. Bye-bye. <laughs>